Hey, good evening everyone. It's Steve Calf, 5 juf Hope everyone's doing okay. So this evening, 10 meters is running. Uh, so it's about 5 o'clock here. And what I, I find in my area, uh, 10 meters can usually be open from 3 o'clock in the afternoon to 10 o'clock in the morning up to as late as uh, 7 o'clock at night. A lot of times what I find is 10 meters will tend to drop out, you know, around 6.30 or 7 here in my particular time zone. So, got the radio turned on. Right now I'm in memory mode. And you can see that right there with the MCH. I can just go through my different repeater channels and simplex frequencies and so forth. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to VFO mode by pressing the VM button right here. I'm in VFO Alpha, which is where I need to be. I'm going to make sure I'm on 28 megahertz, which is 10 meter band. And I'm also going to make sure I'm in upper side band. So I'm good to go. Now we're going to check our power. I've got my power set to 90. I'm going to set it up to about 95. And this is how you change it. You see you just touch the quick access button here and you can see the power changing here. And you can also see it changing down here. So we're going to move it up to 95. Alright. Now we're clear. I'm going to put this back in MCH mode to release this button from this control button here. Alright. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, We'll start looking. I'm going to turn the tuner off. I really don't need the tuner uh, on 10 meters because uh, this uh, Charlie Papa 610 works pretty good. So what I wanted to talk to you about first is uh, I'm going to show you on my SWR meter uh, what I look at. I have an inline uh, Charlie November 901 and I use it in the range of 0 to 200 to uh, and also use it in average power. Now what I'm going to show you is with the meter in average power uh, you're going to see it go up to about 45 to 50 on voice peaks and that's typically what about 95 watts equals in average power. So I'll demonstrate that next. Alright there's my meter and right now I have it in the 0 to 200 position. Now this average in peak PEP power, I leave it out because the radio uh, on PEP power, it will not give you any uh, SWR reflection. However, on average power, this portion of the meter does work. So, kind of found that out the hard way. So, what we'll do first is we're going to go ahead and listen for an area where there's not any traffic. And I'm going to transmit. Yeah, we've got some guys out there. Let's just find an area where there's no traffic. We'll go up here. Well, it looks like a quiet area right there. But what I'm going to show you is, and of course when I transmit, I've got my, uh, my bezel on right here. And these are my settings I use for this upper side bend. So when I transmit, what you're going to see is you're going to see this jump up and it's going to go up to between this area here which is 40 to 50, but in average power this is correct and what you're going to see over here is the SWR, the reflective, and wherever those needles cross is theoretically is what your SWR reading is. Is the frequency in use. See we went up to about 40 watts there. We don't have any reflective power which is exactly what we're looking for is the frequency in use. Got a tiny bit right there and you can see the SWR is about 1.3 where those needles cross. Now if I go up the frequency it's going to, the SWRs are going to get, are going to change because of the fact we're changing frequencies on an antenna. So let's try this frequency 590 here. Is the frequency in use. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. So that's what you're looking for. You're seeing average power here going up to about 50, 45 to 50, uh, which equates to about, in peak envelope power, about 95 to 100. And of course we have very little movement here. So that's the 901. I leave this all the time in line so I can watch what these needles are doing when I'm transmitting. All right, let's go back to the radio. You're going to find a lot of Japanese stations up in this area here. So you, if you're up in here and you've got your general, you'll be able to talk to a lot of Japanese stations. Let's see if we can make one contact here. Yeah. 
Mike, I'm here in the band Robert. How are you doing, my friend? Over. Let's look for a little bit stronger signal. Let's see what this is right here. What we got to listen for is there may be someone else talking and we can't hear them, so we don't. We want to be real careful, and that's part of the listening game. Is you just have to listen. Let's go right here. We got Japan coming in right now. The band is actually having a hard time here. It's actually starting to die out. Yeah. It looks like it's starting. Yeah, the band is starting to die. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's find this guy. Get this uh, Juliet Golf One Hotel, Quebec Alpha. So what we're going to do as soon as he finishes his QSO, we're going to throw our call sign and see if he can hear us. We're going to wait for this Q-Sodian and then we're going to throw our call sign. So you see they talk about the weather a little bit, their radio systems. Those are good things to talk about on a QSO. What's the weather doing? You know, if you had a drought, you know, rain. It's a kill of clarifier. I only had my clarifier adjusting the receive, not the transmit. See how I'm bringing him in? Okay, once we're done with the QSO. So let's try this. We're going to wait for the QSO to end. 
So uh, I'll make you for the gold star here in my lot of them. Oh, right here, right here. Yeah, my printer. Yeah, my printer is on my leader was Heku 25 to just a study. Yeah, we may have uh, such a uh, beautiful condition, even 10 meters. Uh, thank you and hope to see you. I'm quite active uh, on this band as well as uh, 20, uh, but uh, I like uh, this band very much. Uh, by the way, thank you very much for your call from the state of Connecticut. Good. Uh, November 1, November Oscar Ray He's Mark. close enough Here to Cuso. One, Honolulu, Coin, America. Arigato. Bye-bye, Charm. Kilo, India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. As always, stay safe. Let's read Kilo. next. Uh, just a moment, please. <laughs> thank you very much for your call. Uh, thank you very much for the QSL, uh, Sam. See you very soon. Bye-bye. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. Uh, Kilo Delta 9, Yellow Hotel, uh, Kilo Delta 9, Yellow Hotel, Alpha. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for call. Yeah, very good morning from Tokyo Bay. Well, we didn't get in there, so let's do this. Let's go work somewhere else. Go up here a little bit and see. We've got Japan coming in here. Let's go up here and see what's going on. Let's see what we got. We got something here. Let's see if we can get this one. We're listening. I think he's still talking. That's one thing we just have to be real careful. Now he's still talking. I can hear him in the background, so we're going to let them finish up. Okay, 73. Bye-bye. Let's let him... Victor Alpha 3 Lima, United Kilo, QRZ. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform Foxtrot. Kilo India 5, Juliet, United Foxtrot, Y, we have a very, very strong 5-9 plus. My name is Luke, Lima, United Kilo, Echo, Kitty, it's Burlington near Toronto. How do you copy, over? Very good, very good. I've got a good copy on you. Uh, you're coming in about uh, 5 by 7. Go ahead. What was your call sign again, QSO? Victor Alpha 3 Lima United Kilowatt, QSL. Uh, very good. Victor Alpha 3 Lima United Kilo, QSL. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. You are 59 uh, plus. Very strong signal at this moment on my hex beam. So, my big three over. Yeah, very good, Luke. Thank you very much for coming back and ta uh, taking the call there. Your radio sounds good. I've got you about 5 by 7. Uh, tell me about your station, real quick. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, 45 feet above the ground of the tower, uh, plus uh, amplifier around 700 watts at this moment. Antenna is uh, looking for the uh, South Pacific and Japan, which is uh, actually 90 degrees from you. It's not, not directed to the Texas at this moment, so we are very strong, uh, uh, even with, the, with this uh, direction. He's going for Japan, so we're going to let him go. Yeah, very good, Luke. Thank you very much. That's a good sounding station. On this side here, I'm running an FT991A. We're running about 95 watts into a Charlie Papa 6 hand vertical and uh, running an M100 microphone. Luke, go ahead. Yeah, QSL. It's 20 dB over 9 from the S meter. Okay, Steve, thank you. thank you very much for the short contact. Uh, so I wish you all the best and have a good weekend. KI5JUF, E3 UK. Yeah, very good. Victor Alpha 3, Lima United, Kilo 73 from Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. Happy DXing toward the West, 73. Thank you, bye-bye. What is that, so he's going, he told me that he's going to Japan, and that's a good piece of information. So I didn't know that, but that's nice. He took the call. We had a nice QSO. And when he told me he was beaming west toward Japan, I kind of knew right there 
that I need to wrap up that QSO and let him get back to business. So that's just kind of the, some of the cool stuff about ham radio. So anyway, this is just real world, ex real world experiences from KI5JUF. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoy the videos. And comment below. Let me know any questions, anything. Uh, I really do enjoy the comments, and I like getting back to you guys. 73 from KI5JUF.